Shalom. This is Brother Kanawak from the Toronto camp. And Brother Mike Cock. Introduce yourself, brother. I'm brother Abu One. All right. Today we're gonna go into a lesson that the Most High only came to save Israel. God is not dealing with you other nations. For example, you Chinese, you Africans, so-called white people, which you're not white, you're red. No. You named after your forefather Edom, who ate raw uncooked meat or uncooked meat that wasn't cooked properly that still had blood in this um the meat still had blood in it and then that's where you got his name from either other one in the hebrew that's right so um you have a scripture i have a scripture deuteronomy 32 verses 8 where the most high divided to the nations their inheritance when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is a lot of his inheritance. So yeah, so God only chose one people. God didn't come to save all nations. I have um, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus 33 verses 10. And all men are from the ground. And Adam was created of the earth. In much knowledge, the Lord had divided them and made them their ways uh, diverse. So it says, all men are of the ground, okay? So all nations have pigmentation. But the so-called white man is a man that doesn't have any pigmentation. His blood shows through his skin. That's right. His blood is translucent, okay? You see his blood through his skin. He doesn't have pigmentation. God took away your pigmentation and he gave you a curse that's called leprosy, okay? And that's the curse when you're under, which goes back to your forefather, Cain. Yeah. So, and then it said, all men are from the ground. And that's what Adam means, Adam, of the ground, okay? Because man was created from the ground. The Lord said, he formed man from the dust of the ground. In Genesis. Okay? Um, yeah, if you want. This is Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Okay? Second Ezra 6, verses 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou mayest lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. This is right, Adam, the Adam, the father of the Adamites, or all civilization, right? He had the, um, um, the one you know as Adam, he had the, uh, he had a dominion over all cattle, over all beasts, okay? God gave dominion over all beasts, all cattle, so all animals, at um, some point in time, during time the Adamites, fearless, okay? During time of Noah, fearless. They had us, um, we had the animals in subjection, okay? But now, you know, but now these animals don't fear us. But it's going to go back to that state where animals fear us. You know, like a lion, like a lion's going to fear us, you know? A lion's not going to want to try and devour us and stuff, you know? A lion's going to be subject and take orders. You know, everything's going to go back in order. So we read. Of him come we all, and the people also whom, whom thou hast chosen. All of these have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said they are nothing. But be like unto spittle. So God said you other nations are nothing. And that he only created the earth of what you heathen inhabit right now. For the Israelites sake. So the earth on which you stand upon was created for the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans sake. Okay. It wasn't created for your sakes. Okay. 
Okay? And the only reason why you're here on this earth, or you even exist as a being, is to be subject unto the Israelites. That's right. Okay? Continue. Continually. Um, continually. Forever. For as long as you're in existence, you'll be a slave unto the Israelites. That's right. It, it, you know, because it says, Our kingdom shall be a kingdom that that has dominion forever and ever. I'm paraphrasing it, but Daniel says that um Daniel says that we shall uh, take the kingdom and it. possess it forever and ever. But hold on, I want you to finish this, brother, no and then problem. you can get that. Um so and the people also whom thou hast chosen. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen which have um, ever been reputed as nothing have begun to be lords over us and to, to devour us. Sorry, that's plain. So you have that scripture? You know, this is Daniel 7 and 18. It says, But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever. And Can you ever. get the scripture in the Psalms, who the saints are? Because a lot of these people have it, you know, have it twisted. And they think that the saints are some fucking people in the Roman Catholic Church. Okay? The, the saints are the Israelites. Okay? The saints were the Israelites. Alright? The saints are the Israelites. When you look up um, in the Zonathan Bible, the definition of saints, it says, um, it says Israel. I'm paraphrasing. It's, I think it says the consecrated of Israel or something. When you have the Zonathan Compact Bible Dictionary, I'll find the definition saint and, and, and then look it up. It's going to say the Israelites, okay? Um, okay, so Psalms. Where are you finishing? I'll read it again. It says, But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. That's right. So we're going to take, you crack this kingdom, alright? We're going to take over your NATO EU, okay? And we're going to take over all the kings of these this this earth, you fucking Saudi Arabians. That's right. All right, you, you Chinese. All right, you fucking East Indians. You African kings. We're gonna take all your dominion, okay? By the one who you know as Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, which means he is deliverer in Hebrew, okay? He's gonna come and destroy all your kingdoms, and he's gonna bound and 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 then he's gonna bind you up. He's gonna bind up all your kings, your nobles, and fetters of iron. And put them in slavery. That's right. All right, and we're going to be the officers executing judgment on you, fucking elite bankers. All right, you rock the you rock Charles, you Rockefellers, Duponts, you Bilderbergs, you know, and and then all the other super elite rich families. All right. That's right. And you will be subject unto the Israelites. You're looking at your future masters. That's right. So get ready for slavery. A thousand years. You know, and start start you know, start getting your mind ready for a thousand years of slavery. If you can. Extermination. The extermination of the Edomites. That's right. Psalms fifty verses five. Gather my saints together unto me. Those that have Psalm made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heaven shall be declared his righteousness. Can you read that scripture again now? Okay, Psalms 50, verses 5. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Israelites, okay. And the heaven shall declare his righteousness, for Yahweh is judge himself. Hear, O my people, and I will speak, O Israel. I will testify against thee. I am Yahweh, even thy power. O Israel. Okay? Not your other nations. Not the Chinese. Not the doo eating Africans, alright? Not, not any of you other nations. Because 
Because all you other nations think that you're going to rule forever under the so-called white men, alright? And then you think that the Negroes are going to be a uh, subject forever in this society, you know? But God, but God the one you know as God and His Son, Yahweh, which are black men, have something coming for your ass, alright? It's called, it's called payback, vengeance, okay? And how are you going to pay us back? You're going to pay us back in your blood by us shedding your blood. Alright? Yep. You have Psalms 148, I believe? 147? No, no. Would oh, this say the saints? Oh, Shall bind your, uh, your oh, Psalms 149, your, verse 5. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. That's right, because. No, because me and this bear went to a museum today and we seen some of our glory of the ancient time. Like us in the Hellenistic um, time period. Us during the Dark Ages throughout Europe. Okay? And we seen some of our ancient artifacts and, and, and the glory of what we used to be in. Okay? But, you know, but it says, let us sing a lot upon our beds in glory. Well, it, well uh, can you read that part again? Yep. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. That's right, because yeah, you know, because we're going to be glorious in, in, in this in, in our in our future kingdom. All right, in glorious apparel, with crowns upon our heads, scepters, jewels, you know, gold, you know, gold cups, gold plates, forks. You know, gold dining sets, man. Everything. Palaces. Slaves. Slaves. Multiple wives. Concubines. A lot of children, man. Sure. We're going to have a lot of children. A lot of cattle. Man, you know, we're gonna, it's going to be beautiful, man. Okay. Just, just two-thirds of our people don't want that. Two-thirds of our people don't want to see that. You know? And then that's why God's going to kill you. God's going to kill your ass. Because you deserve death. Mm -hmm. It so says, you? Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth. And we're going to be praising God. The one who you know as God. Which his name, which the one who you know as the Father, his name is Yahweh. Okay? Which means he is to be or he exists. Okay? And then his son's name is Yahweh Shai, which means he is Savior. Okay? Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth, and a two-edged sword in their hand. That's right. And we're going to have our swords in our hands. A two-edged sword. That's not talking about the Bible in that scripture, okay? That's talking about a literal two-edged sword. Alright? So read to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people. To execute vengeance. So that's how you know it's talking about a literal that's um that's how you know it's talking about a literal sword. That's right. So read off. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. To bind. To bind their kings. Alright? So all you fucking international bankers, you fucking rich elite pieces of shit are going to be our slaves. And we're going to take all your goods. We're going to take all our riches, what you stole from us back into That's our right. possession. That's right. Because, because, you know, because you have all of our stuff in um, museums, in your fucking, um, you know, in, um, in your own private collection. Yeah, because all that shit you have in... In local museum, that's all fucking replicas, man. Where's the real shit at? You better hide in there in your storage, man. And then some of it's real, but it's just like the, you know, like the crumbs. It's not the full thing you're gonna yeah, get. It's all corroded away and shit. Yeah, just the fucking Rothschilds. That piece of shit has all the real antiques of us. And all the gold, you know, yeah. gold, silver, and um. You know, and a lot of ancient antiques. And they set it up to where you gotta be rich to actually go see them, right? And Jake's not rich to see it. Yeah. You know? I just told him I'm a fucking student. 
And it's our Friday. <laughs> so they love.